In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Phoenix One, this is the League of Planets based on Kirwin. Lieutenant Pulver speaking. What's your ETA, Captain? This is Galaxy Ranger Zachary Fox. My family and I will be arriving on Kirwin with Ambassadors Waldo and Zozo in 30 minutes. Roger, Captain. Jessica, prepare for arrival. I just can't wait to meet Soso's family. I'm going to teach them to grow a hamburger, right, Waldo? I'm more concerned with the Kirwin Defense Shield. Until that shield operates properly, your planet is in danger. Roger, Captain Fox, we've made a lot of progress. These Kiwi can just about grow anything. With the Kiwi and Darius and humans working together, we should develop enough food stock for the entire League of Planets. Over out. Here's the analysis on the new gene vegetables. You were right, Tycho. Vitamins A, C, and E. Look, Woody. Yuck! So, what is the problem? The problem is that I can't eat it. Kiwis have very sensitive taste buds, bub. Kind of tastes like shoe leather. Great. See, Kiwi? Shoes, we can't grow them. The League of Planets will benefit from our new friends from Earth. Yes? Ship approaching. 300 sectors and closing. We're on our way. I want the specimens alive and undamaged. The new species called human. Their life force will be mine. <laughs> Alien vessel now. 100 sectors. Couldn't be an outlaw attack. We're two months before a food harvest. Alien vessel now. 50 sectors. Getting a visual scan. A crown destroyer. 10 sectors. Power up the field. But it's not fully debugged. We have no choice. Then do it.
are you a human? I'm a kiwi, you bully! Ah, no good. Yow! Let's move out. You must not harm this new species. And Dorian, if you or the puny kiwis interfere, your primary habitats will be destroyed. The days of the crown are numbered. The queen cannot make our League of Planets serve her against our will. We'll see about that. Dad, incoming transmission. GV, amplify the signal. Try, little sir. Humans have been taken. Proceed with extreme caution. Sir, power level's dropping. Hang on, everyone. Mayday, mayday. This is Zachary Fox aboard the Phoenix. Hyperwave signal's jammed. Circuit overload. We're being pulled into a war. GV, disengage hyperdrive. I am programmed to warn you that could be hazardous. Just do it. Shields locked. Disengaging systems now. Good work, GV. Get me a system status. Zach, try to find out where we are. Everyone all right back here? Just shaking up. Drive, burn out. Waldo, nice job. But I tested this unit myself. I don't recognize any of these star clusters. Do you, GV? I'm working on it, Toots. One thing's for sure. We're not where we're supposed to be. Hmm. Damage is not too bad. Zach, any luck on our location coordinates? We're somewhere in Sector H81. We've overshot Kerwin by a hundred light years. Yes. It appears we have company. This wasn't any accident. It's another spaceship headed right for us. Steady as she goes, mateys. Steady, mateys. Frequencies from human space, Captain. Ha <laughs> Humans from the solar system. Gunner, contact the Queen of the Crown. The kid has obtained some human specimens from the Earth. Away, first wave! Whoa! <laughs> Sir, scans reveal 20 laser cannons on outlaw vessel. Phoenix armament is non-operational. We have a weapon. We can overload our communications laser and use it as a light cannon. That may work as long as they stay in close range. If they don't blow us to microbits first, that's an outlaw ship. Outlaws? Daddy, I'm frightened. Easy, everyone. Jesse, see if you can feed a little more oxygen in here. Zach, get to work on the laser. Right, Dad. GV, open hailing frequencies. This is the Galaxy Ranger vessel Phoenix, Zachary Fox in command. We are on a peaceful mission to the planet Kirwan. Any act of aggression on your part will be considered an act of war. You have no claim against us. Now let us make repairs and we'll leave this area immediately. Otherwise, we'll blow your chips out. <laughs> oh, what a plucky group. Gunner, what shape are they in? I can't read their blasted alien codes, Captain. Scan a computer disrupt their system. Sir, I feel a rather odd tickle along my circuitry. <laughs> their shields are disrupting GV sensors. That's not the shielding. They're using a brain probe. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. I'll try some manual filters. Thank you, little. That's better. I am concerned, Waldo. The Queen surely must know of our alliance with Earth. We are all in grave danger, I believe. Zach, get me a visual scan. We've got to delay them long enough to jump out of here. Enhanced scan of the nose pod shows control lines running just beneath the hull. What about hitting them right there, GV? A hit there might disengage pop to their control system. GV, lock coordinates. Yes. <coughs> Coordinate. <coughs> 
GV, what was that? <laughs> Sir, I'm faulty. Sir, they've secured tow lines. I'm going out. Get ready. As soon as I cut the lines, we'll make a run for it. Zack, be careful. Sir, I've overloaded my circuits. I'm... This hasn't been my day, Sir Oid. I was much happier running your home systems. Almost through the lines. Stand by engines. Zack, there's something moving out there. They're getting closer. I'm a galaxy ranger, assigned to protect an alliance with the Andorians and the Kiwi. Galaxy what? I laugh. I scoff, human. You're not in your safe little solar system anymore. Your ship is now my ship, and I'm handing you over to the Queen's slaver lords. How do you like outer space so far? <laughs> Let my ship go, and my planet will reward you well. Four humans are worth much more to the queen of the ground. Ah. Ah. Approaching pirate vessel, my queen. Prepare to pick up the specimens. You three must blast out of here. We'll rescue Zachary. We'll need more life cans. Prime the drive. I'll go get them. Coast is clear. Come on, Waldo. GV, descramble life support. <laughs> GV, what's the matter? Open the lock. It seems to be stuck. Come on, GV. Hurry up. I'm trying. <laughs> Look what I found! Zack, Jesse, go now! Mom, are you all right? Answer us! GV, blast off! May I interject one concept at this moment? <laughs> Doors open, sir, ma'am. Transmission from Crown Destroyer, sir. This will make the kid famous. Let's have it. Captain, you have something of interest for me? Yes, you're nothing. See, I am but a humble servant of the crown and so forth. The humans. From Earth, I have four of them. Psst, sir, the two little ones have escaped and the adult female is still inside. You buffoon. Send someone in there to get it. We did. Meat face. Meat face? Did you say something, Captain? Uh, Your Lordness, we have at least two healthy humans. I want them alive and undamaged. If the Queen insists, the human ship will make fine booty. That ship carries a hyperdrive of Andorian design. It will be confiscated. I want my booty. Booty! In here. So far, so good. Shush. Hmm. Wait, Waldo, be careful. Someone must know how to turn this thing off. 
Excuse me, sir. What? Which button turns off the force field? The red one. Who are you? My name is Zozo, and this is my friend Waldo. Hello. Why, you? <laughs> Barbarians, no menace! Hurry to the shuttle! Zozo to GV, we're coming in! Sir, the humans have escaped their cell! There is an Andorian and a Kiwi aboard! <laughs> I got someone in there! Something, anything. of the situation now. <laughs> then you, Captain Kidd, are a plucked Blitzke. Hey, what else could go wrong? <laughs> These humans are disastrous. Zozo and Waldo, you will serve your queen. I have you now. <laughs> I've changed my mind, human. I'll take your offer. Fox, based on your report, the Board of Leaders has approved your special team of Galaxy Rangers. Each will utilize the new Series 5 brain implant. When charged, the microcircuitry in your badge will trigger this implant. Each of you has unique abilities which will be amplified in extraordinary ways. Zachary Fox, your implant will turn your advanced bionics into a powerful weapon. I'm ready. My wife, I've got to bring her back home. Doc Hartford. Yeah, I am ready. Your implant will make you a computer wizard, conjuring fantastic computer programs. Nico. Your implant will strengthen your psychic senses. The human race faces grave dangers from beyond the stars. Shane Guzman. Your implant will trigger advanced internal biodefenses that will make you nearly invincible. Stand by for action. Our time has come. Zachary. Sir. The implant is still experimental, but your team is the best chance we've got. We are the only chance. Dad! We just heard. You're leading a new team of rangers. We're going back out. Don't worry. I'm gonna bring her home. Sir, we're with you. All the way. <laughs> 